All right, I wasn't planning on covering Tim Pool today. That wasn't exactly on my roster of things I wanted to do, but then I was graced uh, with some comments he made recently, and uh, they've they've made me reconsider that stance. First bit of fan art we're going to get into is uh, just about how I feel about some of the stuff I'm going to be talking about in this episode. This one is from Trinity Tronos, said the end of Unholy Cultures arc. Uh, it's got me and Vosh and uh, Shark Zero all just kind of powering up, ready for something. I'm going to be honest, this is this is kind of epic. This is uh this is this is how I would feel in one of these situations. The next one we have here is from Shady Shion. It's a Jet Set Radio Slime Service. Go ahead and pull both of these here. It is a VC face model. And the next one, the last one we have here, is from Mathematical Cabbage said, an itty bitty little slime service in a jar. I had a tiny bit of space in my class notes that was begging to be filled with a doodle. And so you decided to put me um, in a jar. Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Ghosty, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. As always, everyone, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop into the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got to cover today. Uh, Freedom Inc., thank you for redeeming your points for an owl. And uh, Ismail, thank you very much for the follow. So, we already did a video talking about the Colorado shooting. We already did a video talking about what happened there. How it's a terrible tragedy, how five people have been declared dead, uh, and how there is no excuse for that happening at all, and how the person who actually engaged in that shooting had a previous record of issues and run-ins with the police, um, and basically, literally everything in that situation was handled incorrectly by everyone. And yet it still happened. But I did ask the question, why is it that stuff like what happened in Colorado, why is it that the Club Q shooting happened? Why was that a thing that we had to deal with? Why is it the thing the victims have had to deal with? Necroface, they give it 100 bits. I have an answer for you. I'm not going to like it. You're not going to like it. The answer... As far as I can tell, without more information coming out about the shooter, is that right-wing media is cultivating that environment. Now, what do I mean by that? How many times have you heard the words groomer lately in political discourse? How often? Because, to my estimation, in the last two years, groomer has become the new CRT, and of course we know... Uh, exactly why that's happened. Chris Rufo has made sure that that is the point. He's made an active effort to take the current political zeitgeist uh, that had been talking about the terrors of CRT in the wake of uh, the Black Lives Matter movement and has shifted the focus to attacking trans people and the LGBTQ community by labeling them all groomers, by labeling them all pedos. So, why is this happening even more often? Why is this a thing? Well, I can tell you one of the culprits. There's a lot of them, obviously, Chris Rufo being one of the major ones, but, um... Of course, we got Pim Tool here. We shouldn't tolerate pedophiles grooming kids, a statement that I would like to agree with on its surface if there weren't context that's missing here. Club Q had a grooming event... A, a, a what now? A what now? Club Q had a grooming event? How do prevent the violence and stop the grooming? He said this 
in regards to Kurt uh, Schlinker. If you want to show me the Matt Walsh tweet, go ahead and throw it at me. Uh, we'll be covering a few of these here. He said that in response to Kurt here saying, I don't think we have to tolerate pedophiles because some assholes shot up, uh, some asshole shot up a gay bar. Frankly, a lot of people trying to convince us we need to tolerate pedophiles seem to be happy to use any excuse to silence our opposition. My guy, nobody is trying to, uh, to protect pedophiles. Nobody is trying to do that here because what's happened is not a, a, a pedo ring. This is the Pizzagate thing all over again, but magnified. Th that's all this is, repeatedly. Yeah, Source made it the fuck up, basically. When they're talking about a grooming event, I can only assume that what they're referring to is Drag Queen Story Hour or some other just general LGBTQ event. The idea that there was a grooming event there and that's the reasons why the Club Q shooting happened. No, Tim, you are one of the reasons it happened. I will say that 100%. You and the people who do stuff like what you do are part of the societal soup that creates more and more of these shootings. When you, f uh, when you freak out about what you are saying are pedophiles and groomers for money, when that's not what's happening, you create the environment where more and more of these shooters feel like they need to do their shooting. I'll, I'll say it in terms you'll understand, potentially. Spoilers real quick for The Boys, for anybody who hasn't seen that series yet. Uh, I'm going to talk about it for a second, and if you haven't seen it, then this is your opportunity to hop out of the video. But there is a moment where, I believe her name was Stormfront, uh, the, the Nazi superhero, uh, who definitely, totally was not a Nazi up until they revealed that she was, uh, started basically using MAGA rhetoric. Uh, repeatedly throughout the series. There's a scene in that series that shows a guy who goes to the same uh, gas station every single day, talks to the same clerk every single day, and he's very, very friendly with the clerk. But the clerk is an Indian man, and he is a white guy. He doesn't have a family, he doesn't have, or I mean, he has a family, rather. He lives at home with his mom, uh, but he doesn't have a family that he has established, mind you. He's just got his isolated echo chamber and voice clips and memes that are being put through by Stormfront. They are constantly being fed to him. Every single time he goes out, he is seeing her on the news. Every single time he goes home, he is seeing stuff that her media team has put out. He isolates himself into Stormfront's world, a world of Nazism. But it's Nazism masked to sound like American patriotism because Nazism in Germany just sounded like German patriotism to people. That's what happened. And the way the scene plays out is every single time he goes to his... Uh, to, to the place where he gets his gas. Every time he goes to his con local convenience store, he sees the same clerk every time. But every time, he gets his face hardens a little more. He keeps hearing about the, the different races trying to trample him and his way of life. And he keeps going to the same place, seeing a person he's known for what seems to be potentially years but his heart gets hardened more and more to this individual every single time they interact because he's being fed so much bullshit from Stormfront. Also, how is it going, Bonbon? Bon? Eventually, one day, he walks into the shop and instead of buying his usual milk and cookies or whatever the hell he buys all the time, he shoots his store clerk and goes on a monologue about how he's not going to tolerate uh, you people trampling his way of life anymore, harming his race. 
Now, obviously, this is in a series about superheroes being bought by corporate media, and so it's going to be fantastical and a little stupid at times. And this is a very ham-fisted way of talking about stochastic terrorism. But the point is, what happened there in the show, what happened with that individual, this is the shit that happens. This is the type of shit that happens when people like Tim Pool tweet this. The grooming of children is not stopping. People are calling for more violence. I don't think legislators will stop the grooming. People will not stop calling for violence. So you tell me what happens next. When shit that isn't happening the way you're describing it is being put forward this way, Tim. Is there any question in your mind why people go to places like Club Q? Why people fall for shit like Pizzagate? And think that they're going to save the kids by killing a bunch of LGBTQ peoples? Does that... Where is the surprise? How the fuck do you get to the to the side of the political spectrum where you are honestly confused as to why more and more of that is happening? When you yourself are part of the conundrum, you and people like Ben Shapiro and Matt Walsh and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert and Alex Jones, people like y'all are the reason people are getting fed this rhetoric every single goddamn day. And the worst part is, you know why you're doing it? You're doing it because it makes you money. You're doing it because it will get people to watch your show. And I know this is why Tim's doing it, because it's why he had a video featuring Marjorie Taylor Greene on his channel. Not a debate, not something that tried to show her in the actual anti-Semitic light that she should be shown in. No, 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 no. A video where it just showed her laughing around with her namesake, playing Magic the Gathering. I'm sorry, but when you do stuff like that, when you irresponsibly... Oh, wow, Rowlet is having a fun time. When you irresponsibly make content like that, softening up literal Nazis, two people, on a day-to-day -day basis, when you go onto Twitter and you talk about how people are calling for more violence and the grooming isn't stopping, the legislation's not stopping it, so, gee, I wonder what would stop it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, lol, 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 civil war the same shit he's been going on about for ages? I wonder in my heart of hearts, why the hell we are seeing more shootings? Why the hell we are seeing more of this stuff? Could it possibly be that there's a network of influencers that make it their duty to stoke this kind of radicalism because it makes them money? I guess the best thing I can do at that point is leave it up to you. This is more an angry rant than it is an actual analysis of events, as opposed to an actual debunking of rhetoric. These are my observations. I want to know what your observations are. Sakura says, here's one from Ben Shapiro. I guess we'll go ahead and look at that one, too. The rule is that you must never report on what is happening, or a senior reporter for NBC News will blame you for a mass shooting and call for your deplatforming. This organization in Colorado teaches kids how to become drag queens and help kids safely experience the art of drag on stage. Colorado state reps promoted and encouraged the child drag organization performance. Drag isn't grooming kids. Holy fucking shit. Of course somebody's going to call for your deplatforming when you're openly lying on the internet and the lies that you are saying are things that can be directly correlated with shootings that are happening. How? Fenikagami, thank you for redeeming your points for an Alwo. That That's as far as you get there. How do you get to a point in your career where you are doing this actively? I can't count how many times on my channel I have had to actively tell people to calm the fuck down. Because it is better to operate as if things are going better because otherwise 
radical assholes win. If they successfully scare you into not living your life, then they've won. They didn't have to kill all the LGBTQ people for the LGBTQ people that inconvenience them so much to magically disappear out of their lives. Because they get what they want when you cower. They get what they want when you hide in your homes. I'm tired, guys. And stuff like this does little more than piss me off. So I'm going to say it again and try to close out the video this time. I'm going to throw it to you guys. I want your opinions. I want any of your potential solutions. I want to know where y'all stand with all of this. Because where I stand, I'm angry. So, I don't know. Best thing I can do now, I guess, is say, Tim, and anybody else who does right-wing media shit, please sincerely analyze the stuff you're doing and ask yourself, is it really worth the money? Is it? Is it really? Are the lives that you are directly impacting negatively worth the money you're making? Because from my perspective, it wouldn't be. But what do I know? I'm the smaller streamer, I guess. As always, everyone, incident the video tagline here.